So what's up, beautiful people? For those who don't know me, my name is Blaze Bali, and my passion and purpose is to help coaches, consultants, high ticket service providers to land more premium clients and build better businesses. Just a little bit about me and why listen to what I have to say. So in the past four years, I built two uh, separate businesses, take them to multi six figure. Actually, one of them is a multi six figure Facebook advertising agency, helping coaches and consultants. The other one is a newly found business, which is on track to uh, on track to hit at least half a million dollar this year. And I started a business in November. And in this video, I want to talk about ownership and the winning formula that I identified that helps our top clients to, to win in this game, okay? So I'm just gonna break it down into like five simple points. And if I promise you, if, you are, if you're a rookie or if you're a coach, consultant, high ticket service provider wanting to grow your business, if you follow this formula, uh, there, is, there is no way you're not gonna win. It's only a question of time and effort. Um, and so let's get, without further ado, really, let's get into it, okay? So the first point I've identified being super important is taking responsibility in your business. As a business owner, um, you are taking responsibility and risk, right? So pretty much the definition of entrepreneurship and being a business owner is that you are taking more upfront risk. You're willing to take more upfront risk and more responsibility in order to be compensated for that risk and responsibility. So if you are not taking responsibility for whatever is going on in your life, in your business, then you are holding yourself back from actually creating the value you're supposed to create and also to making the money you're supposed to make, right? So this is the number one, take full ownership, full responsibility. Uh, pretty much the mindset you should have is that whatever happens in your business, in your life, that's, you know, that's all you are doing. And then if things doesn't go the way you want to, you have to look into yourself. Why this is not working out the way I want this to be, okay? So the second one is, uh, and I find this to be very common, is that you have to focus on your bottleneck in your business. So I see all these people out there, um, coach, many coaches, consultants I'm talking about, and they are like watching all the videos from Alex Hormozzi and all the other like, you know, business gurus out there. And the thing is, it, that information is extremely valuable for, for people being in a certain position in their life, in their journey, in their business. So what I mean by that, um, it doesn't really make sense to watch videos on taxation if that's not your bottleneck, right? And your business, if you don't have clients, right? And so there are like so many of these videos. And so what I really want to convey over here as a message is that really try and figure out what is your bottleneck right now, right? So if you're not getting clients, if you're a rookie, um, probably it's the service, it's your knowledge on the service, it's your offer, it's what you know in your market. Those are the things you should be focusing on as opposed to like anything else, right? If you already have an offer put together, you know who you are helping, you know your offer, um, you, you know a lot about those people, then the next one is really like, how do you get leads? It's lead generation, right? And so usually the most, the first thing is really like, how do you look like on the, on the internet? Like what is your profile looks like? What is your Instagram, YouTube, whatever you use, right? How does your organic marketing look like? How many people you message a day? How many content you create? All those kind of things. That could be a, that would be a bottleneck. If you're already established, you make, you know, a couple thousand dollars or 5K, 10K, 15, 20K a month, then you're going to be dealing with other problems. You're going to have different bottlenecks, you know, maybe, maybe you can't, you know, scale your Facebook advertising because um, your funnel is not strong enough or your VSL, your video sales there is not strong enough. It could also be that you are just not closing at a high enough rate. You don't know how to talk to those people and not closing the deals, deals or your price point, like so many things. But what I'm trying to really, what I'm trying to really communicate over here is that as an entrepreneur, m what I see uh, most people, even my friends, a lot, of, a lot of friends around me, they focus on so many things. They just like watch a video from here, watch a video from there, but they never really sit down and ask this question of like, okay, what am I dealing with right now? What is the biggest bottleneck in my business? And then they, they, you should specifically focus on that until you fix it, right? If you do that, if, then you can go one by one, go through these processes, you know, like, what is it? You know, is it my offer? Is it, is it the market research? Um, you know, is it, am I getting enough leads? Am I closing enough leads? Can I deliver the results? Am I getting good client, client results? Super important. All those things. The next one is asking for help and knowing um, where to go to ask for help, right? So watching, like, watching YouTube videos and blogs is not a proper way to asking for help, right? If you identify, and I'll give you an example, you identify your bottleneck, let's say, is, you know, sales, Right, you have you have calls, but you're just not closing those calls at a high enough rate. You, so or maybe you close a lot of those calls, but you just don't collect enough cash. So then, what you want to do is you want to ask for specific help. You want to hire someone who can come into your business and give you customized information around that topic. 
right? And so that's why that's when a business coach, a sales coach would come into play because you can rely on their experts and you can become much better pretty fast, right? So that's really the way to solve a bottleneck. You identify the bottleneck and then you ask for help from uh, reliable people, people you know who's done it before being a step, you know, at least one step ahead of you. You don't need to go to the best guy. It's enough to like find someone you really trust and being one or two steps ahead of you. That's totally okay. And you follow that proven process and you only focus on that one until you dial that in. And then you can move on to the next bottleneck you have in your business. The fourth one really is, and that's where most people go, go wrong, like um, is really taking massive action because you can, you can fix all these things. You can focus on the bottlenecks. You can ask for help, but if you're ultimately not taking action, then it's all for nothing. So I, I see this all the time, like, especially as a business coach, like people, people come to me for advice and I give them advice, even our clients. And then they keep asking the same things all over and over again. And sometimes I'm confused. I'm like, do they not remember what was the answer? Or like, why is it happening? But in reality, I realize it's really what it comes down to is it just, they just ask the questions to feel good. And then they just keep doing what they do. And then they like feel stuck. So like keep asking the same questions. So if you can understand this, uh, then you can understand that the only way to go through is really take massive action, right? And uh, it's never comfy. That's why most people don't do it. But as soon as you start taking maxi- massive action towards one specific thing that you identified as your current, you know, as your current blocker, as your current obstacle, then I guarantee you would be able to solve that problem. How you do that is again taking massive action and then really listening to the feedback you are getting, right? Iterating your processes based on that feedback and improving them. So if you can do all this, again, just to summarize, taking massive responsibility over your actions, you really identify and focus on the bottlenecks you have in your business. If you're a rookie, you're probably gonna need help to identify because sometimes rookies, they don't know what is a bottleneck. They just kind of kind of guess. And that's why it takes so long to like, you know, to take their business from zero to 10K a month. I've been there too. And then the third one is really asking for help from someone reliable who's done it before following the proven process and then, and then taking massive action, iterating, improving. If you can do this, I guarantee you're going to see success. So this is what I got you guys for today. If you've been following me here for a while, then you know that this is not the usual style of content I'm putting out, but I'm committed to keep producing more in-depth valuable videos for guys like you. So if you, if you, if you found value in this video and you like it, then you know the bottom, click that. Um, if you're not following me, maybe give me a follow and, uh, turn on the notification bell so you're not missing out on this content. I will keep posting and, uh, all you have to do is keep watching them and keep implementing. Peace.